I'll say a few words about this poem called The Lover of Fruit Trees. This poem presents a portrait of someone I admired for many qualities. His political courage, his intellectual breath, his love of gardening, his great good humor. He introduced me to New Mexico, and thereafter we shared a love of the high desert. I tried to have the poem reflect the wonderful kind of mental leaps he made possible in our conversations. Something to think about. With whom do you have rich and searching conversations? How might you describe those conversations or find images that evoke them? The Lover of Fruit Trees for Henry Sourwine. The desert of northern New Mexico stretches behind the garden, punishing cactus in a hot blue bed. Civilization begins with the Russian olive and the Chinese elm. This year, all the trees are full. Early apricots cluster and green gauge plums dapple the adobe wall. We walk what you call your English garden for its wild and unlikely flowers. You call them by their Latin names, like the strict uncle who wants to be firm, but loves his brother's children for their flaws. One blazes bright in the morning and wilts by noon. Another flowers before its time. We turn to the orchard, your prize, and I think of the stubborn Jews who, throughout my childhood, made oranges grow in the desert. A miracle, my father would say. You understand? A miracle. Twilight. You reach for your hose, and water disappears into the sandy soil. Inside, you show me an oversized book of photographs taken in the Warsaw Ghetto before everything beautiful burned.